Hello everyone, my name is Matthäus. I'm gonna talk about the work I've been developing the past few months. The title of this work is Vacancy Engineering, Flat Pens, Superconductivity, and Holography. Here is the outline of this work, which is separated in three parts. First part, I'm gonna talk about the mechanism for creating zero energy flat pens. The second part, I'm gonna talk about our application to graphene, where we, where we compare a tight body model which preserves the carrier symmetry in a more realistic uh, model using DFT calculations. And motivated by these results, I'm gonna talk about the mean field treatment of superconductivity. We start by we start with 2D and 3D lattices, which preserve time reversal particle hole and chiral symmetry. These symmetries are particularly important for topological properties. Uh, following the, the Lieb theorem, we also consider uh, bipartite lattice, meaning lattices that can be divided into parts that don't talk to each other. In general, uh, bipartite, uh, Hamiltonian describing bi bipartite lattices can be put in this following form. And using the rank nullity theorem for this bipartite lattices, we can prove the following proposition. The nullity of the Hamiltonian meaning the number of zero eigenvalues of the Hamiltonian is greater than zero if the, this Q matrix here is not a square matrix. The precise value of this nullity is the number of sites in the B sub lattice minus the number of sites in the A sub lattice, provided that the nullity of Q itself is equal to zero, which is true in most cases. The zero energy wave function are localized in the majority Majority uh, sublattice also provide that the nullity of Q is equal to zero. The first and the second proposition are the essence of the Lieb theorem. The third proposition is a consequence of the chiral symmetry that we start with. To create the zero energy flat pins, we propose the following procedure. We start with a, uh, uh, we start with a, a bipartite lattice, then you enlarge your unit cell, and then you remove sites from one of the sublattices. Uh, the, the picture is the following. You start with uh, a matrix such, such, such as this, and then you, the removal of some size uh, corresponds to removal of one row and one column of this matrix. Then you go to the following picture where your Q matrix is not square anymore. And from the propositions uh, as before, we, you must have a, a zero eigenvalue uh, independent of the, the value of momentum meaning that you have a zero energy flat band. For pr practical purpose, we don't remove uh, rows and columns, but instead we, we introduce a very high potential uh, at the site to project out the site and create these vacancies. As an application, we, we consider uh, a very famous bipartite lattice, the graphene lattice. And we consider a vacancy engineering uh, scenario where, where you enlarge the unit cell and then you remove some sites. For instance, here I'm showing a configuration with a total of 16 sites then in one vacancy and with a total of 15 sites. In the tight body model uh, with the chiral symmetry preserved, you have the following figure. You, you, you have a perfect flat uh, zero energy flat band as, as shown here. But we know that graphene, uh, because of long range interactions, don't have uh, perfect chiral symmetry. Instead, a more realistic picture is this one, provided by DFT calculations, where the bands are not flat but narrow in, in some range. Here we have a 0.5 electrovolt range. And moreover, uh, another uh, change from the pristine graphene case is that close to the, the Fermi surface, we have a very enlarged density of states. Uh, here we, we also have a similar uh, figure, uh, but now we consider a configuration with 14 sites. Uh, now in the tight by model, uh, with perfect chiral symmetry, we, we have um, two uh, degenerate uh, zero energy flat bands. But when you broke the chiral symmetry, in the more realistic case, we, you will have two narrow bands, also in the, the 0.5 electrofold range. Moreover, the distance between this narrow range narrow bands and the other bands increase as we, you increase the, the, the number of these narrow bands. We also ob observe in this case that uh, the density of states is, al is enlarged in the, in the Fermi surface. So the motivation to study superconductivity in this model is the following. The enlarged, the, the enlarged density of states should 
should change dramatically the electronic and, and, and magnetic properties of these these materials and and this change the, these changes are unclear at the moment and, and require further investigation uh, moreover in the realistic case the bands are not flat they are narrow in the range of approximately 0.5 electron volts and in the, in the meanwhile the, the band the, the phonon band of all graphene is in, in the range of 0.25 electron volts this means that that phonon mediated Cupid Perry is possible and to investigate this case we, we propose a model of S-wave superconductivity where the tight binding parameters here are obtained from fit of the DFT calculation that I showed before this U uh, parameter here is just a large potential that we use to project out these sites and create these vacancies and this delta I are the local, ampli local peri amplitudes and uh, they are they are obtained self consistently in the de Bruegler of the genes uh, scheme. Um, if we we did this calculation, the pristine graphene case, we would have that the gap is closed, and the local uh, peri amplitudes are all zero. But this is this is not what happened when you have these vacancy engineering engineering uh, uh, models. Uh, instead, if you have a high enough uh, a pairing potential, you will have a, a local, a local amplitude. And moreover, uh, you see that, that th these amplitudes are localized in the majority uh, sublattices. This is uh, because of the chiral symmetry that is, is partially preserved, but they are not, not totally broken uh, as one would expect. And for, for the C15 case, we see that the average uh, uh, pairing is to, to, to open the gap, you need a, 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 a pairing potential of the order of the, the hopping parameter, which, which means that it would require a very large electron phonon interaction to, to make this superconductivity, to support this super, superconductive uh, phase. But in the C14 case, we have a more hopeful uh, picture because uh, a, a much smaller uh, peripotential is required to, to support this superconducting phase, meaning that, that um, this would suggest that more narrow bands uh, should uh, make superconductivity more easy. And the temperature uh, dependence on this pairing is, is very similar to, to weak uh, coupling superconductors, uh, meaning that, that when the, te the, the temperature is of the order of the, the pairing potential, then it, the, your superconducting phase uh, disappears. And moreover, if you have, uh, we observed that if you have more uh, narrow bands, this, this critical temperature is, is bigger, and so you you can have this situation where you have a, a vacancy engineering uh, configuration which a very large unit cell and a lot of narrow um, a lot of uh, narrow bands with uh, uh, a much higher uh, critical temperature. So, just as a final remarks, uh, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna say that the Lip theorem can be realized in graphene by introducing periodic vacancies. And in the, in the realistic case, due to the breaking of chiral symmetry, bands are not flat, but they are narrow, in, in, as narrow as 0.5 electron volts. Periodic vacancies can be used to, produ to produce more, more exotic band, band structures, like coexisting flat bands and other lines. I, I didn't have time to talk about this, but feel free to, to check the, the published uh, paper and, and, and check it out. Vacancy engineering and narrow bands uh, dramatically change the density of states near the Fermi surface. And, and due to this fact, the mean field theory showed that the phonomediated uh, conventional superconductivity is possible due to this enlarged density of states. And we, we have, we, we, we can say that the higher number of narrow bands seems to help in supporting the super superconductivity phase. So I, I would like to thank you for your attention and, and be safe.